They are ready for a fight. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 437 pounds. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. An up-and-coming Lucha talent, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, time to throw the rule book out the window. And their opponents, first, from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! From the legendary Guerrero wrestling family. Yeah, but he doesn't need them. He's his own man now. A mean streak a mile long and uses a lot of cruel tactics in the ring. You call it cruel, I call it doing whatever it takes. Might be in the best shape of his life. Well, look, when you mix the power and skill of Eddie Guerrero, he makes for a very intimidating opponent. You're right, Byron, and he'll use the power and skills he possesses without reservations. From undesirable to undeniable to action figure immortality. Cody Rhodes is here, but that peck has seen better days. The son of a fully poseable son of a plumber is here and ready to finish the story. Flesh or plastic, injured or healthy, there's nothing that will stop Cody Rhodes on his road to glory. The WWE Universe is on their feet for this action figure, American Nightmare. The American Nightmare is all kinds of pumped up for this one. Underneath that hard plastic shell beats the heart of a true competitor. Cody Rhodes is ready to fight. And we're on our way in this tag team matchup. There's a pecking order in the tag team division, and one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top. Thank you, drop kick. No, no, no. 
tag was made. Axe handle finds its target. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. My, oh my, what elevation. Targets the gut to end the offense. Looking for the back suplex. No. And here comes the pitch. Oh, run! Both wrists captured. And man, knee strike. Oh! Here he comes off the tag. And he barely evades. Oh, what a close line. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Rhodes denies the attack. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Knew what was coming there. Getting carried around, back spot to be in. Unmitigated demonstration of power. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. What a shot. Showing absolutely no... Here he goes for the win. No, he kicks out. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Cody hooking the arms of his opponent, hoisting them all the way up. Tiger Driver, 98! I am not exaggerating when I say careers have been ended by Lex. And that was a hell of a DDT there. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And there's the tag. Eddie Guerrero into the ring. Breathtaking head scissor takedown. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. That type of physicality earns Guerrero the advantage. Oh, man. Leg drop. something here. Down on the windpipe. Pinning down their opponent's arm. And a carefully measured knee drop. And an elbow to the head, too. <laughs> oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. Is the kick. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. Knee to the midsection. And a kick to the back. Oh, what a right hand. Shoulders down. Powers through after two. He thought he had it. Eddie is in a haze. Big trouble might be coming for him. Perched on the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Well, that could have Guerrero on caught now. Oh, finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here are your winners. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork.
a true submission expert, the Queen of Spades. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. The intensity in her eyes tells you all you need to know about Shayna Baszler. Yeah, when that mouth guard goes in, all bets are off. And her partner from Indiana, the Ring of Honor Women's Television Champion, the Superstar! No matter how high the deck is stacked, this one competitor will never give up. Well, as long as never giving up is the only strategy they bring with them into the ring, the odds are they will always be stacked against them. Just take a look at the champ. Always an event when she competes. Here comes the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Booker T, and he has said on numerous occasions that he sees endless potential in Perez. Potential's great, but she needs to tap into that killer instinct that Booker had. That edge keeps you on top. Perez is so beloved because she works relentlessly to make her dreams come true. There is no quit in this young woman. Just endless fight. Guys, here comes the hot mess. Uh, emphasis on mess. Bite your tongue, Saxton. And from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green. You know, I'm not an advocate for asking to speak to the manager, but I have to admit, it has worked well for Chelsea Green. Are you kidding me, Saxton? Championship gold, competing at WrestleMania, those are things that Chelsea earned. That she even had to politely ask for those opportunities is due to poor work of a substandard general manager. Chelsea's ready to make a hot mess out of the competition tonight. Tag team action underway. Truly one of the hallmarks of sports entertainment. That's right, Cole. And as a former tag team champion myself, I have to say these matches hold a special place in my heart. Well-placed kick. Uh-oh. Moved at the right time. Oh, God, that hurt. Goes into the pin. There's two! We'll see if this is the start of a rally. What a forearm. Oh, man! Got the leg. Well placed, elbow to the leg. Tearing down the leg now. Turning the tables. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Dropping the arm. STO! She returns the favor there. Picture perfect takedown. Uh oh, 
this is just vicious, nasty stomp of the arm. In off the tag. Running clothesline. Catches a punch. Then kick right to the gut. That perseverance of Perez being tested by her opponent there. Ah, vicious knee to the face. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, look at. Look at all these oh my stomps. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. She is just <laughs> desperately trying to fight out of it. Anything Perez is trying is being suppressed. Roxanne's having trouble assessing the situation. Oh no, I think we're gonna see the electric chair. Nope. Rolling elbow right on the mark. She's tagged in. Whoa. What a counter by Chelsea. She had Baszler scouted. Crucial turnaround there because Chelsea was falling behind. She got tired of being pushed around. Now wants to push the advantage. Focus that attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. And countered with a knuckle sandwich. Guys, we have been seeing the animosity building for weeks. And I know they've been keeping their distance from each other in the back for a while. Well, they're up close and personal now. out of there in a hurry. Ah, oh, back fist to the mush. Uh-oh. Oh, on side kick. Here's a cover. A kick out to stay alive. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Nasty right hand. It's a curry to the floor. There's a tag. What are we gonna see here? Double team effort. And a double shoulder block. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. And Baszler escapes. Oh, punch. Sharp knee. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Counters this, could be an opportunity. A few seconds left. Oh, here it comes. 
Big takedown right there. Chap in the leg. DDT. Able to sidestep it. Monkey flip. She's beginning to flag a little. Press spot tough on that one. Oh, and she turns it around. Roxanne Perez looking for Pop Rocks. Will Perez take advantage? Two count. She kicks out. I don't believe it. Not about to go quietly into the night. That took some serious endurance. I'll give you that. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Perez is taking over here. Perez is reaching that other level. Well timed sweep shifts the balance. <laughs> and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Chelsea had that well scouted. Counters right back on Chelsea. Tags made. Whips across the ring. Flame shoulder block. Counters. Uh oh. Baszler avoiding attack. What a good oh, measure. Tag switching it up. She responds with a counter. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? And Chelsea can't be happy absorbing the brunt of that one. Trying to fight out of it. DDT! Cover here! Finally! And what's going on here? Ah, oh, some taunting going on. You know, I can't say I'm surprised.
The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Dallas, Texas, the Ring of Honor Women's Champion, I. I think we got a criminal on the loose. Give me my phone. Put your phone away, Corey. What could possibly be wrong with this competitor? They fight too hard. They're always on the attack. They're crazy. Those are all good things. You're crazy. Let's do this. Taito is not on the line, but she knows a loss tonight will mean a future defense. She will be on her A game tonight. She is ready to get in the competition's face. Mi Chin is as Mi Chin does. Never afraid to do something crazy. And her opponents, first, representing the OC from Fontana, California, Mi Chin! You know, guys, what I like about Mi Chin is that she isn't afraid to stand up against injustice here in WWE. Or you can call it standing up. I call it sticking her nose in other people's business where it doesn't belong. Well, we know she just loves getting in people's faces, and maybe, just maybe, she'll get in your face, Corey. Mrs. Wrestling has returned. And from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One half of the WWE's resident power couple. I'm not in the ring, Saxton. I went here tonight. We'll reestablish LeRae. Well, you can tell that's in the forefront of her mind here tonight. Three superstars in the ring, but only one victor in this triple threat matchup. Hashtag triple threat. Simple rules. First competitor to earn a fall, whether by pinfall or submission, will be the winner. The rules may be simple, but nothing is going to come easy in this fight. I assure you of that. Oh, man, drop kick. Candice gets that set right back to her. Uh-oh, watch out! Double rusted leg sweep! Even in every superstar for themselves situation, an alliance like that can be key. Yeah. Getting set up for something in the corner. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. I'd have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. This could be it. Cover. Drop kick. Beautiful. <laughs> Opponent's down. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Big boat! She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. 
Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a rough. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Things taking a turn for her now. Yeah, Candace with a very efficient form of offense. Oh, my God. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Get slammed down. To the cut. Here's the setup. Power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. And heavy hands to follow. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. And here we go now. Drops the elbow. Oh, foot just. And she goes for the pin. And she's not done yet. Not even a near fall there. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Got a bad, and here I am without any peanuts. <laughs> snap mare. Oh, and the rolling next snap. Candice is swinging the momentum in her favor. Lorray stifling the opposition now. Pick up your teeth in section 112. Counter by Candace. German suplex. Suplex. Ooh. Ah, oh, trap in the arm. Ooh. Off into the pit. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh. Good, good, good measure. Power slam incoming. No. Counter into an inverted DDT. She's pushed into the corner. Look at this. Going right after the left arm. Got to hurt. This match is wearing her down. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Made her pay for her mistake. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh, what a counter. What's coming next? Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Spiked by the inverted Frankensteiner. And the cover for the win. This is it. Stopped him in her tracks with a kick to the gut. Candice is bent on seeing a finish right now. Dishing out a suplex. Oh, come on. This is just brutal. And she dodged that one nicely. Double underhook up and wing clipper. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Hey, hey, but... Beautiful takedown. Slides right in. Misses Gargano escape. You feel like hope is starting to fade away right now. Look at this. She releases the hold. She's going for it. Running interference. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Avoiding contact. Headlock. Oh, kendo stick wrapped right around the head. These women are ripping each other to shreds. How are they moving? These combatants have been beaten up. Ooh, 
Ooh, what a forearm club. Missed timing with that springboard. Turnbuckles. <laughs> Wicked clothesline. And the cover for the win. <laughs> We're about to see. <laughs> and that can keep me chin down. Continues. Right on the arm. Big time throws. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. The pin's broken up. Meechin crafting an attack. And defeat. Does that put Meechin out on top? That could have been it right there. Meechin sidesteps out of that. Vicious body shot. That unraveled on Mishin. Elbow thrown to break up. And it's the Ray. No. Is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Step headbutt. And she gets herself out of a precarious <laughs> position. Boom! Lights out. Whoa! Slamming that back. She's going for it. This could be. Shoulder up. Shoulder up. Where is she finding the strength? This is unreal. Bionic elbow driven down. And that one misses the mark. She flips it back on her. The knee right on the temple. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Oh, here's a cut. Could be it. Man, that was a hard-fought win. She's got to be proud of herself tonight. Here is your winner. I Standing tall above the two other hungry competitors who were in this match. I applaud all three of these superstars for pulling off a match like this.
All right. I love this guy. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Delaware, weighing in at 229 pounds, the Ring of Honor World Champion, Mark Briggs Chung. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. Things are about to get good. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 189 pounds, the Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Wheeler If you listened to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. The champ ready to get this non-title match started here. You know, Cole, I question if the champ even deserves his title. If he's so good, why not put it on the line for every match? I think he's just staying ring ready, Corey, making sure he doesn't rest on his laurels, staying prepared for when there's a big fight to be had. Well, the challenger might have the champion walking into a trap match of sorts. When you're right, you're right. A lot of times, a champion won't take a match seriously if the title isn't on the line. That could open him up to a loss he does not want to take. Oh, stop right to the hand. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh. Smash! That is just insulting. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. If he can hold the line here, he'll be. In, he goes for the quick pin attempt. Raises the shoulder, trying to get this over with pronto. Oh no! Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. A lot of tension. How do you get out of this? Oh, look at that! What a great counter! He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. <laughs> Effective arm drag. Oh, what a kick. Oh, kick right to the back. the boat into the corner this can't be good he's returning fire tough position to be caught in here face first and look at that saxton he's running away uh, i wouldn't say that he's just recomposing himself to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Oh, drop kick. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious. 
Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. That kick's got the distance. He is just reeling from that offense. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. The stomp in every single part of his body. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Muscled out all the way to the outside. Tope Con Hero. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Just breaking down the opponent. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Wrenches the arm. Drop kick. Beautiful. What are they doing here? And what a maneuver we just saw there. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. He reverses it. Cover. Gets the shoulder up at one. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, look at that. In trouble here. Oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. to interrupt the attack. Hits him with the counter. Out. Drop kick. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Look out! Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And he slides him back to the mat. He gets out of the way. Oh, and a forearm. Don't do it. Somersault plancha. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Oh, and a knee. Hit another. One after the other. Uh-oh. How's that for a counter? Sharp punch. And that's an attack that must hurt him even more. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Strenuous effort here. It cinched in. I think he let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Punches to the ear? How are they going to hear after this match? Fails to connect on the springboard. Ah, oh, the impact off that clothesline. And there's another one. Uh, caught the kick, intercepted, nice sweep of the leg. Power bomb position. Throwing down punches and counters out. Oh, now that's a bell ringer. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. How 
much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle has been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. He's got the answer for that one. Sound the alarm. Air raid crash. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And still in this. How? How? Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. He just created a prime opportunity. Was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. And out. Uh oh. Makes the cover. Oh, win. Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here is your winner, Wheeler Muta. A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you got to be on your toes at all times. Oh, here we go now. Oh, and before the opponent can even get the ring, beat the hell out of this guy. The referee trying to separate the two men. Yeah, at least enough to just ring the bell and officially get this match started. Tensions have boiled over, and we haven't even started the thing. A uh, superstar who was attacked is uh, starting with a big disadvantage here. Obviously, that competitor could not hold back their emotions any longer. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. This match is a powder keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Well, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Ripcord knee. Really just laying it in. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. Counters that. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Glance, you might think Harley Race's style is a little too bare bones to hang with today's WWE, Corey. What do you think is the best lane for the Hall of Famer to pick here? Well, his style may be basic, cold, but not ineffective. So Harley needs to get in close and lay in those ham bones and apply those holds. He's always been a smart competitor. He just needs to stay smart. Headlock. Oh, and cheap shot right above the eye. One elevation. 
submission. That's what. what. Looking for a very... And Grimes capitalizes there. Wow, what an arm drag. He took a shot at King Harley and didn't miss. A savage attack befitting the technical savage. Big punch finds its mark. That looks bad. Grimes' face is making me weak to my... From the top, high impact from above. Harley Race handling his business. You had every reason to shudder earlier, Saxton. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. For the pin and the win! Yes! Shoulder up right away. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. This feud is starting to become one of those that will go down in history. Flashes like this are what puts names in the Hall of Fame, Cole. I'm just glad we get to watch it firsthand. Right to the gut. Oof, nails the midsection. Puts the boot to the midsection. Oh, and that buys some time. He takes control. Harley Reigns has him with the Fisherman Suplex. Superb execution. He stays alive. He stays alive. I don't know how Grimes was able to get his shoulder up there. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Grimes able to hit that move with incredible impact. All the way over. That unraveled on Grimes. Uh-oh. Flipped over into an arm drag there. Cameron Grimes has his opponent. There's a slow package driver. That can finish race off. What in the world? Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. And you can see the frustration building inside Cameron Grimes right now. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. What's 
his plan here. Oh, my God. Devastating elbow. See up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. And he tosses him back in now. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Now look at this aggression. Just, just end this now. Oh, he's playing puzzle. Kicks out. He still has life. You got a question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, the King of Wrestling, Harley Race. A celebration of victory in this match where some devious offensive action earlier on put them in control. And I'm wondering if that attack earlier is going to have a lingering effect beyond just this match. That's entirely possible. Lasting damage might have been incurred there. Oh, have mercy! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Weighing in at 287 pounds, Dude Love! Gentlemen, it's always a good time in the Love Shack. Oh, have mercy! Well, I'm glad you're having a good time, Saxon, because this is obviously a sign of Mick Foley's mental breakdown. Look at dude love getting funky. Get it, dude? I'm not impressed. I've won many dance contests, you know. Oh, don't remind us. Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. This guy has never met a spotlight he didn't like. 
But I'll give credit where it's due. When you're as good as LA Knight, you shine bright naturally. The coolest cat in all of sports entertainment. Dude loves set for action. Yeah, but do not let the tie-dye and the funky dance moves fool you. Dude Love is just as dangerous as just about any other iteration we've seen of McFoley. Possibly even more dangerous as he's so hip. But let's stop messing around and turn our attention to L.A. Knight, a man who likes to have a little fun inside the ring and who lives the good life outside of it. When L.A. Knight steps through the ropes, it's showtime. He's flashy, I'll give him that. But what really impresses me about Knight is how he gets down to business when the bell rings. He shows off, and he shows up. Double axe handle. And Dude Love with the wherewithal to counter. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, get gouging the face. That's unnecessary. Come on. A ripping and tearing at the face. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Oh, Jude Love got caught with a reversal. Oh, look at this. There he is. He can do it here. Kicks out at just one. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. And he sends him into the corner. He's looking a little off balance. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. We often talk about the smash mouth style of LA Knight, but his athleticism sometimes gets overlooked. Corey, which aspect of his entering game do you think will be the most integral here? Athleticism is great, Cole, but you can't discount the power of a simple, in-your-face offensive style. That's what's going to work for LA Knight in this match. Drops a knee. He's got him scouted. Uncorked a big punch. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Great counter. Getting out of the ring. Smart decision here. Shake off the cobwebs away from your opponent. Drops the knee. This match's brutality starting to show on him. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh my God, this is disgusting. There was nothing peaceful or loving about that. Dude Love knows how to ramp up the punishment. This has been building and building between them for so long. Yeah, Saxton, and it's almost impossible from the top. Oh, no! From the apron. Whoa, what a landing. Bats with a punch to the gut. Oh, That'll fillet your chest. Dude Love cuts him off. And he gets set back into the ring. And Dude Love saw that coming. Planning on what to do next. Ooh, right to the throat. And will this be it? Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? It'll take more than that to hold him down. Evades their offense. Pop up to their opponent. And a reverse power slam. What a move. Dude Love rising to what may be his demise. LA Knight kick to the gut with BFT. Dude Love is completely out of it. Two count. He got it. Wow, what a match. 
match, huh? You got to give him props. No doubt about it. He earned every bit of this victory. Well, now it's time to enjoy that celebration back in the locker room. After such a... What is he doing? Oh, what? no! A ladder! Oh. Whoa, why a ladder? <laughs> why is it in the ring? Go ask him, Byron. Oh, thank you. Statement made. We are about to see something good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sydney, Australia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The Ring of Honor Television Champion, Kyle Fletcher. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. This is not a pretty sight. A face only a mother could love. From parts unknown, weighing in at 287 pounds, Mankind! Take a look into the eyes of the most brutal of the three faces of Foley. This is a man who pulls out his own hair when competing. Mankind may just be the most deranged superstar to ever compete in WWE. Mankind has proved that you do not judge a book by its cover. Yeah, definitely not the dictionary definition of a WWE superstar, but he has become a legend on his own terms. The champ looks ready for this match here tonight. It's hard to think of a champion who always has that look of determination. While the title might not be on the line here tonight, this still has that same big fight feel. You stole my line, Byron, but I'll allow it for 2K. Nonetheless, you're right, the champ is looking at this match with the same intensity he would if the title was on the line. And across the ring is the one and only Mankind, who's a true agent for chaos. No way! Oh, and just completely off target there! Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. 
That was an example of boldness backfiring. Now look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Back straight into the post on the outside. Four. Oh, oh right down. Line. It cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Oh, and he had the wherewithal to counter mankind. Hung out to dry. He's lost some of his win now. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Repeated kicks, boom! But it was being held back with each of those strikes. Just endless knee strikes. Jumping knee drop! So precise. Going way up high. Up high! Wow! Cross body! And into the count. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. He's far from finished. a jawbreaker. Uh, double arm DDT! Call mankind deranged or disturbed, but you can only call what he did there one thing. Effective. Oh, just turn that around. Bump handle slam. Boom! Planet! That was impressive. And mankind's laid out. Two! He kicks out somehow. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors knowing it's going to take more to win this one? You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. Able to avoid there. Nasty roundhouse kick. And a reversal by Mankind. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Great reversal. Showing him what a real alpha male looks like. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. If this lands, it's over. Look out for You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Just disrespectful. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Into the barricade. Good timing with that reversal. And he gets delivered back into the ring. What are we about to see next? Whip last net breaker. Absolutely spot DDT. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. For all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Turns it around. Sole the foot meets the stomach. Kick to the midsection. Pump handle applied. Into the dead body driver. Now's the time to capitalize. Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. Oh, my God. What? And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. This arena is roaring. I think the desk is shaking. If this lands, it might be all over. Shut up.
and now gets tossed into the ring. Inflicted. A carefully placed stomp to the arm. Mankind just getting picked apart. Mankind's got to find a way to. Oh my God! Diving boots on. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Nice reversal. Mankind able to stop the blitz that was coming his way. Prime opportunity now for Mankind to get some set. Here he goes for the win. He breaks the ref's count after one. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Reversal on Mankind. He manages to escape it. This one's over. Tap. And that's it. Mankind able to get the win. Here is your winner. Mankind! It's all over. And Mankind stands victorious. And Mankind was as unorthodox and terrifying as ever. As we saw tonight, Mankind doesn't care how he achieves victory. Here comes the architect, Seth Rollins, the self-proclaimed future of WWE. Ready to go and do exactly what he does best. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Cocky, crafty, conniving, Seth Rollins is one heck of an athlete, but his ego and attitude have obviously eclipsed his otherwise impressive talent. Okay, Cole. Crafty? Yeah, you yourself dubbed him the architect, Cole. Conniving? He simply has vision. Cocky? Why wouldn't he be? He's the future of this company, like it or not. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is, but he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and we'll no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level, and it's hard to argue against that.
and his opponent from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 289 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. A Hall of Famer and an inspiration to countless WWE superstars. Dusty Rhodes, a man of the people. He knows a thing or two about hard times. Well, he's wined and dined with kings and queens. He slept in alleys and dined on pork and beans. The American dream is ready to take the WWE Universe on another journey tonight. Seth Rollins is a superstar who watches all the angles. An architect who plans every move far in advance. He's out for himself and looking for any opportunity to further his own ambitions here in WWE. You make it sound so devious. Seth has just proven to be a brilliant tactician. He's found ways to play every situation to his advantage. There's no shame in looking out for number one. Well, when it comes to getting his way and making sure he comes out on top, Seth Rollins has become something of an expert. And on the flip side is Dusty Rhodes. Whether he's in the ring or holding a microphone, Dusty is truly captivating. He has a special gift for connecting with the WWE Universe. And that connection gives Dusty a whole lot of motivation and power inside the ring. Rhodes does it all for the love of the fans. They're the reason he became such a big star. Hammer it away! You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Military press! Ooh! Play possum! Whoa! Play possum! He is looking to do some serious harm. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Paying it right back with a reversal. A stiff headbutt. And Dusty is taking command of this one. Rollins has to devise a new plan. Many would consider Dusty Rhodes the definition of tenacity. Look out! I don't care how much you train, you can't prepare for a commercial airliner to come crashing down on you like that. And Rollins capitalizes. Single leg drop kick caught him. He avoids the damage. Close line! Off with their head. Lifting up their opponent. What's in store? Oh my! Discus punch. Set on the receiving end of that attack. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? He thinks he has it. Manages to escape before the three count. He got close there, it could be do or die time. Thunderous right hand. Some showboating by Dusty here. Oh, uh, get him up. Face buster. Into the pin attempt. Shoulders up. I think this ref might be a little slow on the count. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, what a right. Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Single under her face buster. Seth Rollins up the turnbuckles. Up high. Cross body from the top. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Still in it. Seated knee strike. And Rhodes is being taken apart now. He's blocked out Dusty's words thus far. Let's see if he can keep this match from turning into a brawl. Batting down the hatches. These two are ready. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Ooh. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. And that was a precisely measured attack. Good technique reversing Rollins. Taken down with a DDT. Playing possum! Shoulders down! And he kicks out at two. 
This could be a tipping point in this match. Was Rep. Rollins looking for it. Yeah, it's a hold on the neck. Rollins just turned the lights out. But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never Cover. mind what you're doing. Make the count. He kicks out with force. Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. And we know Rollins has a temper. You have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit. Big boot to the guts. Seth Rollins taking charge in a big way. Rollins is set to slay. I don't think any of these superstars are going to show any quit at this point. Never say die attitude on full display. Rocked by a jab from the dream. Boom, bionic elbow. Is there any fight left in Rollins? And a kick out. No one saw that coming. Rollins staying in this thing. Some could even say he's far too stubborn to have things end like that. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. And there's Rollins delivering yet another devastating attack. Rollins is... Oh, my God. A dummy moonsault. And a spent Dusty truly in a bad way there. No doubt it is do or die for Dusty at this point. He just won't give up. Ooh. That hurt. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Stomping. Ouch. And Dusty's being controlled here. Dusty has to find a way to turn things around. Close fist connects. with your feet tied up like that. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Lives to fight another day. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. She hit her hard. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Boom! And he gets set back into the ring. Level fortitude from Rollins. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Blast off through the air. It connects. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Pressing offense from Rhodes. A series of disabling maneuvers from Dusty. And he's able to counter. Went back into the ring. And Seth taking some time to, well, who knows what his thought process is at this point? You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Two, 
He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Seth is being overwhelmed. Any of Rollins' defenses have been pegged. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. He got whipped into that corner. You're ready to count, Byron. Here we go. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And Rollins finally able to keep that string of offense in check. Brief sign of adrenaline from Rollins. Well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking. No! Oh, feeling like it's over for Rhodes. Pin! Kicks out! Just kicked out! I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? What a battle Rollins has waged so far, but he's not finished yet. And we can't overlook how devastating that DDT was. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Incoming, five-star frog splash. A visionary man doing visionary things. He's on the ropes, the official sees it and waves off the pen. <laughs> Seth Rollins, stop. It is all. Rollins now. Shoulders down. Major, major win. That'll change his career tonight. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. And the dream suffers defeat. Dusty Rhodes met a real roadblock here. Setbacks only encourage the dream. This will fire him up for the next rodeo. This is going to be good, gentlemen. We've been waiting a long time for this match. Yes, witness. this is really good. Well, hold on, Look hold on. What the world? The well, the scheduled opponent was just unceremoniously dumped at the top of the entranceway. And here comes the other. And we got chaos. Well, no secret, these two can't stand each other. It's come away. Oh, oh, get oh, out of the oh. way. The referee having no choice but to call for the bell. Well, not the opponent they were expecting, but I guess they were still ready. Well, unfortunately, the other superstar was caught in the crossfire of these two's rivalry. They don't care about anything. They're just brawling. The referee unsuccessfully keeping them apart, and now a brawl's broken out. Clearly a ton of hostile feelings in the mix here. Yeah, match or no match, they came to fight. That's exactly what they're going to do. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. And set right into the corner. Out of the way in time. Effective arm drag. Oh, the elbow connects. DDT. 
And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And some say the only limit in an ODQ is your own imagination. Right, so Saxton wouldn't stand a chance. For everyone else, though, the sky is the limit. Anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. And he slides him back to the mat. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. Time backbreaker. Hooked up. DDT. He's getting a little battered now. He planned for this and could still rally. He saw that one coming. right back. Inverted DDT! Able to get out of the way. Put in a position now. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. He went right into that turnbuckle. And a steam. Oh, oh. Knee right to the face. Oh, man. Oh. Stomping down. Over the top rope into a Larry. That's lights out. You can count to 100. Just look. Perfect position. Uh oh. Like Go for it. Looks like the Muna Lock. The bridge is in. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the... Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Neckbreaker. Ouch. Ooh. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Saving us from having to sit through that. And what a throw that was. Able to parry that one. Close line! Measured up nicely. Fist drop! Denied via a wicked punch. This singles contest has a victor.